morning, everybody. I am 3,000 bees. Oh, doing some more. Oh, God, Chaos Mario. We. Actually, last time I did this, we were in Final Bowser. Bowser in the sky. And my power went out. We had 71 stars. Enough to beat the game, we just had to beat Final Bowser. And I'd been joking around for a while about how much I hate myself and if I wanted to attempt 120 star. And apparently I do. So that's funny. We've got 49 more stars to go. We're going for all 120. Because if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to finish this journey we've begun together, we might as well go all out. Okay. First um, obstacle. Door. Game up. You said it, Mario. Why is there a lump in my cheek? Did I bite my cheek at some point? Why is there a lump? Nima Toadie, good morning. Appreciate you stopping by. I hope you're doing well today. Actually, what I'm gonna do... Like I said before, if we're gonna get a game over. I'm going to hit a quick reset. Because whether we get a game over or if I reset, I will be outside the castle. So, it won't take us much more time, but if we reset, it'll also reset all of the um, active codes. Make it a lot more e uh, easy for us. Okay, appreciate for stopping by, Amber. Hope you have a great day. And, I appreciate you. I respect you, even. Wonderful people, all of you. That's the big you as well. All you guys, you're all fantastic and I care about each of you, whether you like it or not. That's not good, I hope you get to feeling better. Or at the very least, I hope you're able to get some rest. Right, um, one of the codes is if you pause, you die. I had to check what, what star we needed. I, I knew what star we needed, I, I don't know why I did that. It's <sighs> gonna be fun. You know, I'm always sad, always tired, but you know, we, we make do. You know, you get your mind off stuff and you, you do it the best you can. That's all we can do. Appreciate you for asking. We really just be out here doing our best. And I've got all of you guys to help me with that wonderful community I have here. I mean, ooh, look at him looking all slick now, though. Transparent, even. Okay, Mario, you're gonna have to... Sonic, calm down. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Running around at the speed of sound. Blue streak speeds by. I haven't done this. It's been a. Oh my god, it has to have been. Three weeks at least? Yeah, three weeks, something like that, right? Please do. Dog. Doggos and kittens. Those are my favorite. I'm not sure if you're at all in the Discord. I'll post the link to that if you don't mind. Animals make me happy instead. I am a cat dad. But I love all animals. That um, Pets Pictures channel we have going on just completes me. So we do. It's a great way to cheer up your friends. 
gotta post more pictures of my cats too, though. I really do. Okay, I need to work on my aim. The beneficial part of this whole thing is that this star doesn't... Oh my... There we go, that's what I was gonna say. As long as stuff doesn't start getting pulled towards us, this, this star is very easy. Or, at the very least, quick. Once starts, stuff starts moving, it's mostly impossible. A deer would be okay. Where I'm from, we just call deer forest puppies. So please do. So, he won't stop moving. There we go. Say, I can't actually leave the level until he stops moving. Oh my. I mean, that's what they are forest puppies. The same way bats are just sky puppies. That's wonderful, thank you. I've. I mean, I've heard one person say it, and that's where I got it from, like, years ago. But that was, like, years ago. And I just kind of kept doing it. But they are really sweet, and I love them. Okay. This is something else. Also, if the doors in the castle aren't, aren't going to be gone, like, we can't actually get in now. So I'm just going to reset also. There are going to be a few instances where I reset. I apologize. It's mostly required. <sighs> why am I doing this to myself? It, you know why? It's funny. That's why. I think it's funny. I guess you guys think it's funny. I, I post these things to YouTube, and the chaos videos seem to get the most attention. So, if you guys are into it, I'm into it. We got one more star left in BOB. And I was hoping to pick that one up before we move on. But if we don't get it after many more attempts, I could realistically see myself heading towards somewhere else for a bit. Because we're getting every star. We're going to have to get this one at some point. But you know, if it takes us a little bit, we can take a step out of the level, uh, recharge our batteries a bit. Because you do the same one over and over and over again, you know, it's like, it's a little tedious. We're here primarily to have fun. You lose out the pong, you die. Mario, you alright? I'll, I'll be right there. You, 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 you know? Alright, all um... Cool. Alright. Oh, bats are really cute. That, like, that being said, a couple weeks ago we actually... Like a week or two ago, we had a bat in our house, randomly, like occasionally, like, well, it's like the second time in my life that's happened where you just randomly have a bat inside your home. Okay, thank you. Game, I, I worked really hard to get up there, could you not? Thank you. Star, star, star. I, it's one we already have, but I need to know what it is. Chain chomp. Chain chomp. Actually, of course it's chain chomp. Chain chomp's the only one that's like floating out in the open. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Fine. It's alright. We got thrown off the island anyway. Yeah, like, I understand they're a little sporadic naturally like the way they flap around and move they're a little frantic but when you're a wild animal and you're somewhere you're very unfamiliar with new sounds and smells and just everything i can't imagine how scary it must be 
So I completely understand that, like... Oh my god. Like, like... I didn't wish him any harm, I just don't want, like... I know it's just the Chain Chomp Star again, but I can't help myself. Like, it's... Yeah, that's the Chain... You know, bees, help yourself. Oh my god. Oh, you know, this is... This is fine. Um... No. Ellie, one of my cats, writes the canon moved as well. Um... She's my proud hunter. She chases stuff a lot. And... She was, like, chasing it around. And... Like, you know, it's fine. But, if like, I don't want her getting, like, rabies or anything. Like, you know. I'm not blaming the bat, but I want my, my, my daughter to be safe, you know. So that was very concerning for me. But, yeah, the bat was just freaking out and flying from room to room. So I had to wrangle them and, like, put them all together in my room away from the bat. So, like, no harm done. Everyone got away unharmed, but I was just worried about Ellie. Yeah, like, I, I tried telling people... I have to explain to people why my cats don't like kids. And I tell them, I'm like, well, for you, a kid is, like, mostly just irritating. But for cats, it's like, one of my cats, imagine if in your home... Someone you didn't know who was, like, ten times your size was just running around and screaming and stomping. Like, you'd be terrified, too. You can't explain to them that the kid is supposed to be there or they don't need to do anything. You know, they're just, they just, they get defensive, they get scared. Wild animals are the same way. Even more so, because at least the cats had me around to, like... God, we missed one. That was gonna be it. Ah, that's upsetting. Don't even know which one we missed. Like, <laughs> that's the problem. We don't get it the first try. The coins, like, they're already distorted, so it's hard to see. But now we're like missing something. my cats have, like, if, if something's going on, my cats will look at me to see if, like, is this okay? Like, are we safe? For a bat, yeah, they, they're all alone there. They're just, all of a sudden, they're in enemy territory. They don't know what's going on. They're in survival mode. Well, we got a conversation with bats because you're talking about adorable forest puppy. Here we go. Yeah, um... Pets will usually, I mean, I find by and large, they... MX, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you stopping by. By and large, pets will look at you like you're their parent. If something's going on and they're confused and they don't know if they should be scared or not, they'll look to you to see how you react. So if you stay cool, calm, and collected, it helps them a lot. Because animals, they're... I'm not going to say they're dumb. They're just um, limited. Or rather, house pets in our world, our human world. There's a lot of human things that we do that they have no way to understand. We can agree on that, right? Like TV. A dog and a cat will never understand what a TV is. So they look to us when there's stuff they don't know. Yeah, I decided I was going to go for 120 stars. Because I hate myself. Alright. So... Let's see what we got. Womp's Fortress is done. Jolly... Okay, Jolly Roger Bay's missing one. I okay. Of course it is. I'm about positive it's Keneal come out to play also. And I ah fine. I mean, once we get that though, the main lobby will be completed. Next is Big Boo's Haunts, Hazy Maze. 
red stars and a hundred coin or red coins and a hundred coins. Lava land's done. Shifting sand land is going to be a nightmare. Dire dire docks is going to be. I'm going to say this out loud. Maybe not as bad. I don't know. That's going to be. I mean, after these main beginning levels, they're all going to be like really spicy. Uh, I've got to think Shifting Sandland will be worse if not the, like, because Dire Dire Docks is a water level. Shifting Sandland has the trait of every star there takes a long time to get, and that's going to be our big hill to climb. I don't know. Words. That's going to be the challenge. Wet Dry World sucks. Oh my god. Yeah, and then they just get so much worse. Oh my god. Tick tock clock. Look at that. I don't know. The, the only saving grace for Tick Tock Clock and Rainbow Ride is most of the stars are out in the open. So if it does that thing where it's pulling stuff into you, assuming you don't fall to your death because most of the levels are bottomless pit, you can just get stars that way. So we'll see. I love orange juice. I'm not a fan of apple juice, actually. I don't enjoy apple juice. Love apple cider, especially with some donuts. But don't enjoy... Friend? Not friend. Uh, don't enjoy apple juice. Love apple cider, though. Don't know why. I love apples. Love apple cider. Love apple sauce. Catch me snacking on a bag of apples. Don't, I just don't enjoy apple trees. Never have. So you say between the two. What is your favorite juice, though? And this is true for Nematode or MX or anyone else who who's, happens to be hanging out. Hit me with your uh, juice opinions, please. It's doing the Shedding Marios thing. And the game crashed. You're gonna have to... It, it, for some reason, it seems to happen hey, especially in water levels. Hello. Mario does this thing where he sheds off Goombas that look like deformed Marios. And they'll all instantly die. And it happens almost exclusively in the water level. And it happens so fast and it loads in so many of them, the game just crashes. Sounds amazing. With a with a hit of cinnamon. Oh man, that sounds cool. Orange juice is I'm a big fan of orange juice. MX, you silly goose, you can just mix your orange juice and your milk and drink both of them at the same time. I'm not condoning that, never do that. Ooh, that just sounds terrible. I enjoy both of them, but orange juice, probably, but uh, I'm also a huge fan of cereal, so milk is my, my, my buddy. <laughs> I don't want to remember you said that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, I mean that's also very valid because I'm I'm a big fan of fruit myself. But like, I'm, I also enjoy the the, the uh, juice. Love them both. Like pineapple, I adore pineapple and the juice. It's my favorite fruit, probably. Yeah, probably. Well, it's really hard to compare. Because my favorite fruit is either pineapple or tomatoes, and I'm not ready to start that conversation yet. Because they serve two entirely different purposes. <laughs> Double milk! <laughs> it makes your milk more milk. Oh, I heard someone doing that. They get more milk per milk. D the door is still doing this. I'm resetting. G game... 
<sighs> like, at what point did cranberry juice become invaded by apple? Because... It's nearly impossible for me to find just straight cranberry juice now. It's all cran apple, and I hate it. I am mad. It's upsetting. Or cran raspberry. Oh god, I'm mad just thinking about it. Mario, you're looking a little, you're looking a little blue today. You alright? Cranberry needs to stay in its lane. Really. Cranberry needs to mind some business. Mamma mia. Right? Oh man. I don't know, it's just. There's a comedian, I don't know if. I don't know if you've heard of him, his name is Brian Regan, and he does this this bit where he's talking about how cranberry juices and all of the other juices, and it's, it's funny. If you don't know Brian Regan, I think you, yeah, you can probably look him up. He's one of my favorite, like not my favorite favorite, but he's a funny guy. Really? Oh my god. You said it, Mario. The, the eel decided to take some drugs while I wasn't looking. I... Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. Because it relies on... You being able to control Mario. As well as the eel being where he's supposed to be. And there are just a handful of codes that could affect either of those things. Lemon Demon? Haven't heard of him. Lemon Demon? I'm not sure which one I like more. Oh, okay. You sure? Alright, well, if you're sure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the door to get done vibing. Because otherwise I'm going to go in the level and the eel is just going to be spinning like he was. Or plan B. Boop. We'll be doing that a lot today. I mean... I don't want to be crass about it, but you got to get new trucks from somewhere, I suppose. That would be how you make new trucks. I just realized I'm gonna have to get the eight reds and Bowser in the sky, and I just almost started crying. Bowser super glued the door shut. The, the fiend. All right. Well. Daedric B. Mm, wonderful. You gotta upgrade it again, by the way. I made like a dozen different bit emotes, and Twitch doesn't let you control how many bits you get a new one. So, like, they increase exponentially. And very quickly they become unreasonable, like, yeah, you need a hundred thousand more points to get from this one to this one, like, just, just calm down a little bit, alright, Twitch. So that's a little disappointing. So I really had to pick and choose which ones I wanted. So now it's, um... 
Bronze, Silver, Gold. Iridium, Daedric, Uru, and Plexiglass. More or less, it's um, it, it's a very dark gray, but like, at what point does dark gray become black, you know what I'm saying? Because 100% black isn't a thing. So I guess red and black, mostly. Like, for all intents and purposes, yes, red and black. It's, um, if you're all familiar with Skyrim, well, not even Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls series. Um, my, my favorite Elder Scrolls game is actually Morrowind. It's the, like, I was addicted to Morrowind when I was, like, in middle school. Amazing game. But in the Elder Scrolls series, one of the strongest um, pieces of equipment, building materials, smithing metals, in the entire lore of that universe is Daedric. Fab Money, good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you for stopping by. So that is our Daedric. <laughs> Chaos Mario? I gotta say, that was a little mean. Of, of all the things you've done to me so far, that was a little mean, I gotta say. Alright, well, you know, we back at it, team. I mean, I've heard... Well, okay, I've heard mixed things about Genshin Impact. I've heard some people say it's really good. Yeah, it just kicked me out. Well, specifically, it was a combination of two different codes. You'll notice after I got kicked out, it was do it was like flashing the menu on and off. There's a code that um, pauses and unpauses rapidly, but there's another code where if you unpause, it kicks you out of the level. And it did a combination between the two of those, which is funny. Right here, it swapped my A and B button, so I'm glad I recognized that. In time to grab our star. Everything's getting pulled. What is this? What what is happening in my life? Game game froze. Did it? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, can I can I grab it though? That's the thing. Is it just? Is it just? Oh my god! Guys, guys, I was I was, I was about to lose it. Beautiful, fantastic. Hey, that's two down. Yeah, we survived the pong. That's two today. I know I've heard different things about Genshin Impact. I, I've, I've seen a little bit of it from um, Thunder Scrub playing. It mostly just, I mean, from what it looks like, it looks like just anime Breath of the Wild. But like, admittedly, I've never played it. That's just what it looks like to me. Okay, so all of the stars in this lobby are completed. We're going to Big Boo's Haunt. There are a few there we have to get. Oh my god. Mario? 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 It's me, I mean, that Mario. would explain why some people get addicted to it. Hello. Gambling do be like that sometimes. I mean, little, little, little elements of randomness are nice, though. But yeah, I, I got you. So microtransactions aren't just oh god. Yeah, that's hard to defend. I hate that. You gotta understand, though. I went through a phase where I played a bunch of mobile games, like just so many mobile games. And those are. Not just microtransactions, just it just just the, the pit of video games. Just the 
most disgust. I've seen things. It's just all they are is microtransitions, microtransactions, and ads, and and you'll 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 be introduced to a world that they're called idle games with type 72 font quotes around games because as the name implies what an idle game is and i'm sorry if you didn't hear about this before if i'm the one introducing you to the world of idle games i'll never be able to forgive myself for that i'm gonna do it anyway idle games run while you're not doing anything you leave your phone idle and numbers in the game your numbers will be increasing as you're away from it you come back later look at your numbers hey my numbers went up step away for a little bit longer numbers went up it's essentially just a program on your phone that makes numbers tick upward while you're not doing things that's it but here's the fun thing. You can spend money to make those numbers go up faster. Mamma mia. I just... Mamma mia. Yeah, I've seen things. I just... Like I said, I went through a phase. It was just... It was rough. Game? This game is being... Like, I can't even get to Big Boo's home. My god. Oh my god. I'm upset about that. Anywho, yeah. Um, gonna draw attention back to Daedric B, because I'm really happy about Daedric B. In Elder Scrolls. Jesus. This game's being spicy today. Um, in Elder Scrolls, there's different materials, you know. Throughout the games, though, it's pretty consistent about what you find between games. Like, going from Morrowind to Skyrim, there's a few things that are more common than one versus the other, but that makes sense because it's a world where, like, planes don't exist. So regionally, you'll have things more common in one area than another. Or different enemies. Which is great, because, yeah, regions. But, um, some things are consistent, like the quality of, um... I mean, well, the carpet was red, for being fair. Red's the lava color. But, like, um, armor between games is typically consistent. Daedric will usually, almost always, be the best armor in the game. God damn. Alright, fine. Um, in Skyrim, there's Dragon Bone. Better in some respects. I'd argue I prefer Daedric. In, in my actual Skyrim file, I've got a full set of Daedric, and I've got access to Dragon Bone. I've crafted it. Just don't wear it. Um, it's better in some things, but if you're talking about pure physical defense, Daedric all the way. So I'm like, I'm a huge nerd. We got bronze, silver, and gold. What do we, um, Iridium. That's the logical next step, because of all the Stardew I play. What's after Iridium, though? What happens after Iridium? Daedric. God, this game. We've not made it to Big Boo's Haunt yet. This is... Wow. Let's... Let's try for something else, I guess. Hold on. Well, I was gonna say we can go to the basement, we got that shortcut through the moat, but at the same time, the only levels down there we need are eight reds in Hazy Maze Cave, and then stuff in Shifting Sandland, and I am not ready to tackle Shifting Sandland yet. So let's just... oh god. The next one available for you is... God, I'm, an, I'm God, such a nerd. I'm, I'm sorry for being such a nerd all the time. Uru, which is the name of the metal that Thor's hammer's made out of. Uh, Mjolnir is made of Uru. 
it's an incredibly dense uh, mineral forged in the heart of a star. And it's incredibly um, good for uh, enchanting. As, I mean, that's apparent, right? Hey, we finally, okay, so yeah, we did beat um, Go On and Ghost Hunt, so now we can actually do the merry-go-round finally. Wonderful. It's actually, honestly, it's probably the easiest one here. So I'm happy about that. I'm not sure what you mean by prank, but I saw the comic where they got in a fight with each other. Ah, well, fight is a strong word. It was... Can you call it a fight if one person hits another person and then that, the, the person who got hit is just like on the ground like whimpering? Is that a fight? Oh god, it was, it was the most satisfying thing I've ever Oh man. There's Iron Man. If you're familiar with comics, the comic book. Can I just not see the ghosts? I can just not see the ghosts. Or jump. Or punch. Civil War comic event. It, it played out differently than it did in the movie by quite a bit. Like the main faction side leaders were Captain America and Iron Man, but besides that, a lot was different. God, I'm Sonic. Oh my God. How hard it's lagging. It feels like it's going to crash soon. It's very unsettling. Uh, upsetting, rather. But, uh, in the movie, Thor's not there. Okay. Ghosts? I, I feel like there's substantially less ghosts than there need to be. Uh, hey, Transformers, actually. If you're talking about, like, the modern Transformer comic? Like, the one that's still going on? It's a very good comic. So that's the thing. It keeps taking away my jump and my punch and my movements and just... Oh my god. <sighs> Can't walk. It, it keeps keeps taking things away from me. Ah. Oh. I only got into comics because my dad was a massive comic book collector, and Shiny was really into comics also, my, my brother. So I was just in a household full of comic book nerds. But, um... So there's just no ghosts in here. Alright, let's, um... Die? Come back? tangent about this last time, but I'm just so done with steampunk stuff, like, at first it was a cool idea, like, oh, that's nifty, what a, what a quaint idea, isn't that clever, and then everything on the planet became steampunk, and it's just become lazy, it's like, um, people like steampunk stuff just by default, if it is steampunk, they like it, and that's an excuse for people just to make it, like, just slap it on stuff, like, oh, it's steampunk, there you go, buy it. It's just, it has become way overdone, and it's an excuse for people to just not put any work into things. It's lazy. Anywho. I swear I was on a tangent about something. Right, um, in the comic, it didn't happen in the mainline Civil War comic series, but there's always spin-offs. Like, um, the Civil War comics had their own series that were labeled, titled Civil War. But 
different, um, whenever there's a comic book event going on, in independent superhero comics, there will be stuff happening. So like in the Secret Wars 2 miniseries, the stuff happening would impact all of the, they exist in the same world. So like, even though it was a Spider-Man comic, not a, not a Secret Wars 2 comic, Spider-Man was still interacting with things happening in the events for um, Secret Wars, if that makes sense. Like the bad guy who showed up for Secret Wars 2, Spider-Man would interact with him in his comic, even though it wasn't a Secret Wars comic. Jesus Christ, what's even happening? Okay. Sure. Just... Uh, but I, I promise there's a reason I brought that up. Um, it wasn't the... Right, can't, uh, can't jump. Right. Can't jump in and swap my buttons. Oh, Jesus. Stop going indoors! He does this thing where he interacts with everything directly above him or below him, no matter how far away it is. And the door's upstairs. As soon as I walk underneath where one is, he goes through the door opening animation. Every time. Fun fact about the merry-go-round, it's directly below the lobby. Ah. Uh, what is, what is even? Ah, uh, okay, fine. So... It didn't happen in one of the mainline Civil War comics, but in one of the spin-offs that was happening at the time Civil War was going out. Coming out? Yes. Uh, the, the gist of the Civil War thing was um, a group of superheroes that were relatively the members were young and inexperienced and they were, they were like really into it and they were just like a little careless they were they were young and, and they're, they're, they're teenagers with superpowers fighting crime they, they showed off and they were just you know being dumb uh, and they stopped the villain but what happened was this villain's power was um, he could generate really big explosions. They stopped this villain, and because they were so careless, he got in one last ba-boom that exploded in elementary school. There were casualties, a lot of them. And that... So, like, in the movie, they do this whole thing where they point out things the Avengers have done. And it's been, a, it was a little silly to me to think about because in the movies, like, yeah, there was collateral damage and stuff going on in the Avengers movies. You'd have to be, like, actually insane to make that argument because they're like, yeah, you blew up this building while you were saving the continent. Yeah, you, you blew up this other building as you saved the Earth. Like, I, like, I, I, I know... The world we live in is pretty messed up. I don't see that as actually happening, that argument. But in the comic, it made more sense. It was like, yeah, these superheroes were goofing around as they were fighting a villain, and as a result, a bunch of children exploded. That, that's, you know, that makes more sense. Um, so that's why the Superhero Registration Act was a thing. And super, um, Iron Man spearheaded that. He was like, um... It's like, you know what? We need to be held accountable for all of this. We can't just, like, people with powers that are equal to, like, nuclear weapons just putting masks on and running around. And at first it became like, a, both sides actually had good points. Because you're like, yeah, that's... In, in real life, you need to prove you're... Like, even to own a gun, you need to prove you're responsible enough and you need to be registered, you, it's a responsibility. You have to prove you're able to handle it, you need to go through the proper channels, versus superpowers you can just shoot fireballs out of your hands. And put on a mask and do that, no one knows who you are, or you don't have to answer to anybody. So that makes sense. But as the comics went on, his 
means of winning this conflict against the um, people who are against the Registration Act, Captain America and his team. He started stooping to eviler and eviler things to the point where he was just full on paying supervillains to uh, subdue superheroes. And he built a superhero prison in in Marvel, there's this alternate dimension. It's the one where the Annihilator's from. It's basically just a, a dimension of unpleasantness. If you are there, you are miserable. Being there makes you suffer. It just That's the easiest way to describe it. He built a superhero prison there. Couldn't get out, just him and just throwing, away, throwing all his friends in, in prison hell. Like you do, apparently. But it got really bad. But the um, point of that long explanation is uh, well, MCU is Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is just the comics, but this is Marvel Universe. Um, okay. But um, the point I, I got through all that. Uh, there's a reason I, I went over all that. I promise. Um, Thor was doing all of this stuff. At the time, Asgard got more or less wiped out, and what was left of it fell to Kansas, I think, actually. So Thor was going through some stuff, and he just did not want to have to deal with it. And Iron Man approaches him, he says, you know, just, just because, you know, we're old friends, and you're a god doesn't mean you're exempt from this. You need to register and you need to do all this. And Thor wasn't having it. Because he saw all the stuff that Iron Man was doing. And another fun thing that happened recently after that. Hey, another star. Another fun thing that happened recently after that. Um, Iron Man took some of Thor's DNA and made a robot duplicate of Thor. The consequence being, well, he wanted to use it as muscle, but the consequence being the robot snapped and killed one of Thor's friends. Thor didn't take that well. And just, oh my god, yeah, like, hit, hit him. Hit him. And after the smoke cleared in the crater that was left, um... It was mostly just Tony Stark with with a couple pieces of metal on him. Uh, he was he was very badly hurt, and immediately he just went to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, diplomatic immunity. It's okay. We we can call it a, we can call it a draw. Kind of. It was it was hilarious. Immediately just wussed out. You know, people don't realize how strong Thor is. Like they they get he's a, a muscular dude. Nah. You know, they don't get exactly how strong he is. What am I even doing here? Big Boo's balcony? Oh, Alright, let's see that happen. Oh god, yeah, that's not happening. He is a god, but like... In a, in a world of superheroes... It, 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 it's easy to forget how strong he is. Because everybody's strong. I mean, they're superheroes, right? Assuming this invisibility cap thing is actually an invisibility cap thing, so let's try to go up there without grabbing the hat. Oh my god, this this speed though. Ah! But yeah, he has some of Thor's feats of strength in the comics are insane. Like um, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the movies they they. They dumb down a lot of the um, powers. They make they try to make it more realistic. Like it's not realistic, but like um, more. If anything, like none of the characters in the movies are close to as strong as they are in the comics, which is fine. 
you know, just different universe they built, it's fine. But yeah, in the comics, Thor is really badass. He's, he's just... Oh, oh. Well, that being said, though, I mean, the Thor in the comics... Oh, my God. We want to get into Donald Blake. Oh, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep nerding about... Comic book stuff, so I just need to need to dip out of that. I don't watch Marvel movies anymore for a little bit of time. I watched um, Endgame, and I think I may have even missed one or two before Endgame. But I haven't seen them since. I did watch um, WandaVision though, and it was very nice. They went to Hungary, they should make something to eat, then, silly goose. Really? Really? And I've just accepted that there's... There's never going to be a good... I'm sorry. That's, that's like... I, I've only got like three jokes, I apologize. Just because hungry sounds like hungry. are there because if, if he's doing this I I I can't pull off the pivot wall jump I need to do that so what else is available for us okay what else do we got eight reds is an option let's be realistic about that though that's not happening okay, it's not Appreciate you, Emmett. Good guy that you are. This camera is really weird. I. We got the mystery of the box. So, what am I missing here? We got both bosses the eyeball and Big Blue's balcony. And eight reds, and I think that might be all we're missing here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Wow. So Yeah, let's try for eight reds, I guess. Because I'm just I'm not gonna be able to get upstairs or uh, up to the top floor. can't get into other rooms, so I don't know what my end, end goal was here. Speedrun trick to get upstairs faster. Please kill me. Please, please let me die. Alright, no. Why did, why didn't I just let it kill me? Hold on. I, I should have just let it kill me. Oh my god. It's me, Mario. Oh, fantastic. Hey. A big comic book nerd. Shiny is too, if you want to get in conversation with him about comic books. I promise you he'll be into it. So the problem is when this effect happens, Mario moves backwards. So you can either face away from the direction you want him to go, or hold the direction you want to go, in which case he'll do this, he'll move just very slowly forward. The problem with that is, when he goes through his door opening animation, once he gets to the other side of the door, there's a second where he, you can't control him and he's standing still. 
he's still moving backwards during that time. So you go through the door, him moving backwards just puts him back through the door before you get control of him again. So there's just no way to open doors while you're like that. It's incredibly frustrating. Speaking of frustrating... Uh, well... You know what, forget it. I'm going upstairs. We're, we're gonna do one of these just because, yeah, Big Blue's haunt. Oh my god. I decided to do, do 120 stars. I decided that. Mario. Hello. Why would I do that? Well, let's get that bread. All right. I mean, let's. I'm gonna. I, I really do want to clear out Big Boo's haunt first because, like. As irritating as it's being, like as difficult as it's being, that really is the easiest one left. Because, like, besides that, what do we got? Eight reds in the Hazy Maze Cave. Most of Shifting Sandland. And then everything upstairs. if this doesn't work for long enough, if I have to take a break from Big Boo's haunt, I, I will go and see how Eight Reds in Bowser in the Dark World is going to go. Um, Bowser in the Dark World is the first. Um, Bowser level. Hey, Amber, thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate it for that. Y'all got to make sure you're staying on full liquid. Fantastic. We are dying, and this is going very well. Well, you said it, Mario. Alright. You missed my really long, pointless, irritating rant about comic books. Apologize for that. Kaze is a maniac. Can you imagine? Like, the mind of the man who made this thing. Alright, well. You know what? Maybe maybe we'll try Bowser, and we'll get it first try. Just, just knock it right out. You never know. It could happen. Alright. So let's go for Bowser next, you know? I'm just really tired of dying on my way to Big Boo's Haunt. Like, not even dying in Big Boo's Haunt, just dying on my way to it. Alright, everything seems normal so far. Okay. So far, so good. For several streams, I couldn't even get to Bowser. What's wrong with me? Why would I volunteer to do this? <sighs> Sleeping pill time. They're good for the sadness. Hmm. Not because of this game. I'm, I'm fine. Finds a strong word. The sadness isn't from the game, so don't, don't feel bad. Ah. Sure. I, I, 
Hello. Hello. Hold up, my phone buzzed. Let me see what that is. Oh my god. That is just. Well, there. One of those. Remember, I told you I played them. Steam Deck. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly sure what that is. So I feel kind of bad about that. You mean like a, is it a Steam thing, I'm assuming? Like Steam, like the uh, game thing? Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I legally download all of my video games. They legally, I have to tell you, I'm joking. Um, so I'm, that's a joke. But also, you know. Anything else going on? We good? We good game? Alright. It's a, it's a phone game I'm playing. I couldn't kick the habit entirely, so it's like, um, a mobile game that's like a card game you play with people. I don't spend money on it, but every once in a while, every few hours, you get, like, a free thing. So my phone buzzes, and it's like, hey, hey your free thing's ready. Oh, I'm weak. Like, you know what else is kind of weird? What do you expect in like, this courtyard with all the ghosts in it to be like? At, at the very least, like, I, like, I don't know. You go in the front of the castle, it's daytime, so I don't know how they would manage, but like the fact that the, all these ghosts are out here in like the middle of a sunny courtyard, it's always been a little weird to me, right? Am I alone in that? I don't know how they would justify the discrepancy with like daytime and nighttime in different parts of the castle, but at the same time, right? Ah. That sounds cool. Um, I'm a lot more on the video game side of things, I get like Playing video games versus content. You ask me about computer stuff or programs, I have no idea what's going on. Shiny though, my brother. Actually, hold on, I'm about to give him a shout out. I never get to do that. Hold on. I'm about to test that. Actually, hold on, hold up. Let's see if my shout out command works. Oh my god, it does. I recently added a uh, shout out command. But him, he's way into like emulators and gaming programs and oh, like, computer specs. Like, you want to talk to him about stuff like that? Like, he's into it. Me, I'm just like, yeah, I like playing Mario. He, he jumps and he punches. Mega Man, he, he shoots stuff. You, remind, you, you reminded me I needed one because you, you tried using it that one time. And then B also tried using it that one time. We were meaning to do it like... Hey, I appreciate you for that. That's my um, real-life brother. Older brother. And he's a really good guy. He's the reason I started streaming, actually. I... I hadn't even heard of Twitch, and I showed up, I made an account on here just to be supportive of him and like, hang around on his streams, and I had so much fun hanging out in chat, I um, thought it'd be fun to do myself, so here we are. This here, we are 
like essentially what happens is we go inside that little thing that the boo drops. We're shrunk down, we're in there right now. And it's dark outside. If you look at the skybox, it's dark and spooky. Why, like, how can they justify it being like that in here and not outside? Like, they should have just made the courtyard dark. I'm still not happy about it. Exactly, Shiny did die. He's a fan of, um, uh, game. Okay. He's a fan of, um, uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Witcher 3, Mario 3, just, just whatever, just fine, just, sure. Beat the Bob Omb King. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, spatially, I don't even know what room I'm in. Like, where am I right now? Because. This is, I'm in the library right now because there's that platform on the right that moves, there's the red coin. And if you look at the top, very top left, there's a little hole there where I would go upstairs another one. I just, wow. That is a sign. Also, Candlemaker, good morning, appreciate you stopping by. Hope your day is going well besides Gungeon business. That's a good start to a game. Big fan of Gungeon. It's a very nice gun though, isn't it? Like, bees aside, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of obligated, but at the same time it is a very nice gun. So... I... I was really hoping something would just kill me, but... Guess not. The one time we can't die. Uh. But you know what else is a sign? It's kind of ho it's kind of hoping that Mario would turn into a sign because he does that sometimes. Just not what I want him to. Oh, that would have been perfect. Could you imagine if he would have turned into a sign? Like he chose that moment to do it. Oh man. That would have been legendary. You guys wouldn't have known what to think. Okay, well. Do that thing where he interacts with stuff above him and below him, so that's not great. There we go. Because we are at minus one life, so assuming that doesn't switch. We won't get a game over. Every time we die, we'll just get uh, an additional minus life. So minus two, minus three, minus four. And we won't get a game over that way. I... I prefer any picture or link sharing happens in the Discord just because, um... If nothing else, I don't like to check links and things while I'm playing. I get distracted really easily, and I don't want to like click off and do other things while I'm streaming. Oh my goodness. Ultimate platforming challenge. <laughs> I would have nailed that too if that mushroom. Oh my god. I'm mad. I 
appreciate it for that. Yeah, no, if you don't mind posting it in the Discord. Just because, yeah, I don't... I, I don't actually ban links or pictures in chat. I just try to be good about not checking stuff. Like, you know how I checked my phone a little bit ago when I shouldn't have? Shouldn't have done that. Very rude. check now that I'm out here. So, oh, we don't have the 100 coin star either. But we got eight reds. Okay, so yeah, we got those two bosses and then we've got 100 coins. And actually, 100 coins in Big Boo's Haunts, in my opinion, is maybe the easiest level in the game to get 100 coins in. Just because there's just so many ghosts. And each ghost will give you 5 coins. There's just a lot of extra money flying around. The problem is it requires going through a lot of the level and you'll see we die very easily. So if you select this star going in, uh, rather I should say, say if you select any other stars going in, the booze in the basement won't spawn, which is just a whole bunch of extra money. So for the purpose of going after 100 coins in this level, always, always go um, merry-go-round. controller not wanting to respond, so that's unfortunate. That's 10 that we just missed. But like I said, there's a lot around here. Ghost? Go! Guys, the table suddenly turned into lava. Mamma mia! It's the oldest trick in the book, and I fell for it. Bowser hit us with the old spicy table gambit. Reasonable. Speaking of gambit, I think I was, I was saying this earlier, but, um... I've made peace with the fact that there's never going to be a good Fantastic Four movie. It's just not going to happen. The same way I'm never going to be satisfied with an X-Men movie. Although, to be fair, X-Men has been treated a lot better than uh, Fantastic Four has. Because while I don't think there's a truly great X-Men movie, there isn't even a decent Fantastic Four movie. I'm a big Fantastic Four fan. Wait. Oh, Big Boo's balcony. Right. I have to pay attention to that. I am actually going to go after 100 uh, coins. Because, yeah, that's probably going to be the easiest one to get. Like, it requires a little more time than the others would, but it's substantially easier. does that inside levels, you ever notice that? Typically the doors in the castle will kill you. Very rarely do level doors do that. Which is a weird thing I'm noticing. Really? 
Are you just like... I, I gotta think spatially he's somewhere else. He just looks like he's here, because otherwise, like, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Right? Or maybe my invisibility is stopping me from interacting with him? Right, that, would, that was it. Because once the metal cap effect started as well, it instantly killed him. Right. That's interesting. I did it again, didn't I? I... Apologize. Sorry about that. I just stopped paying attention to things. Oh, but yeah. The, yeah, you asked a while back. The next bit badge is Uru, and that's going to be really exciting for me. Because you have to, I mean, it's really got to be a powerful material, because they're all materials, right? It's the same B, but different colors to represent different materials, right? You know, bronze, silver, gold. And then they start getting into fictional materials of different power. Because after bronze, silver, and gold, like, if we can be fair, they're more or less the same power. They're, they're earth metals. But um, fictional ones always have such cool properties, you know? So, like... Iridium and then Daedric. Next one, and it, it, it's hard to think of one more powerful than Daedric because, like I said in the Elder Scrolls, it's it's the top dog for metal, for gear. But I gotta think, a, a bee made out of the same metal Thor's hammer's made out of, yes. And um, there's a comic book thing called Fear Itself, which mostly had to do with the Thor mythology, but um, was really a, an all-Avengers situation. But what happened there is um, ancient evil got brought back to Earth. Um, and Tony Stark, Iron Man, used the Asgard forges to craft all of the Avengers' new uh, weapons out of Uru. And it was so cool. Like, Wolverine was there. Iron Man got an Uru armor suit. Everyone had just, like, Thor's metal weapons. It was rad. I'm going to go after the bosses because I don't honestly know if I can stop forgetting to do that. So I'm gonna just, you know, instead of restarting, we're gonna go after the other one. Okay. Jesus, good morning. How have you been? Hope you're doing well. Oh my. Friend, that is. I've missed you. Alright, just just kill me, just do it. Okay, well, you know. Is it? Oh, it is, actually. Is. I gotta think, I'm actually gonna be in a situation where I'm going to get food today, so I can, I'm gonna treat myself. What do I want to get for food? Pizza? Chinese food? Maybe? I don't know. McDonald's. You know... I'm doing the best I can be doing. I've got some great company and some video games, and you know... We're all just doing our best to get by. I appreciate you for asking. God, I was thinking, like, tonight we're, we're talking about, like spooky July, that dumb thing I'm doing, because I thought it would be funny to do a Halloween-themed thing in July. It is funny, by the way. Um, tonight's gonna be a shorter one. I'm doing a tiered ranking list of a bunch of different candy. It's not always scary stuff. Halloween, you gotta have some candy. Well, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. I've got a cat costume. We're um, playing scary video games, ranking candy. I've got a like horror movie monsters. 
I've got like a tournament of them coming up where we're gonna see who's who's stronger than who. Mostly just for fun, like as a joke. Like Christine, the haunted car is in there. Like you know, who'd win a fight of Michael Myers versus the shark from Jaws? Like you know, we're just trying to have fun. I try to make this place creative, if nothing else. I want to give you guys a project that you don't see anywhere else. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I appreciate you for stopping by. I really do. I mean that. Because I haven't, I haven't heard from me in a while, and I'm glad to see you in chat. And you said you're doing well, so that is actually wonderful. Because this is, um... That is adorable. Oh my god. I remember when I used to be in relationships and then celebrated time with people. Heck, every single time. Every time. Oh my god. My brain just refused. Why am I like this? I don't know. Alright. Mario, can you... Well, I mean, that's smart, honestly. If you're a Bowser, wouldn't you lock the doors? Because if you lock the door, like, what else can I do? His star. The only issue is I can't actually go and retrieve it because of this. And if the code had stayed, I could have actually just ran in the house underneath where the star was and, and grabbed it. I wouldn't have even need to go upstairs, which makes this so much more frustrating. Are all of the doors like this? Could I go into the basement and snag it? big risk because if I go down here, odds are I'm not going to make it back up. And the code is probably wore off by now. <sighs> but I mean, if it's not going to let us inside anyway, might as well try it. That was the right star. I, I was thinking, I'm like, there are several stars in this level that are just floating there. And those other ones had to have been closer. Guys, I beat Big Boo from the front of the building and grabbed his star from the basement. Ah, we're, we are very powerful today. Fourth star. I'm just happy about that. Tor big, tore big Buddha pieces. Never stood a chance. I can't control this power I wield, you guys. It's, it's out of. There's nothing I can do about it. It's me, Mario. Hello. Hey. But no, big, yeah, like, it doesn't let me decide what increments the badges appear in. 
So at first they're pretty reasonable. It's like, yeah, one bit, hundred bits, thousand bits, five thousand, ten thousand. Like, yeah, they go up like, like you can tell they're increasing slowly, but like the difference is still five thousand to ten thousand. That's forty dollars. Like, yeah, one's ten dollars, one's fifty dollars. Like, yeah, no, don't get me wrong, that's still a chunk of money. But once you hit 10, the next one's 25,000. Then after that, they're all 25,000. It's 25,000, 50,000, 75,000, which is like literally $250 plus whatever Bezos takes every single time you want to jump up a badge. That's insane. The most insane part of that is after you hit 100,000, it switches to 100,000 increments. 100,000, next one is 200,000, and then 300,000. Like, you understand what I mean, like, that's crazy. So I had to be really choosy about, um, which badges I had, because I made like 12 of them, but yeah, I'm only ever gonna at most 100 I guess unlikely like I suppose there's no physical possible way 200,000 is going to be a thing just no 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 but like the gap between 100 and 200 is so extreme at least now I know for a fact 200,000 is never going to happen so like Really? But I mean, I don't even have one pla planned for, like, I don't even have a hundred thousand one uploaded. The only, uh, highest one I have is 75 just so I can have, like, a hard upper limit. Like, that's my way of saying, like, like, which of these bit badges do I not expect anyone to ever get? And let's upload one for that. Just so I know for a fact all of my bases are covered. If you go one past what you expect anyone to ever be able to get, you're, you're, you're set. House, are you done freaking out? Could something kill me? Could something please kill me? and I'm falling asleep. I apologize. My sleeping pills are whooping me. You probably dipped out a while ago, but I really do appreciate Nap stopping by. Consider all of you guys my friends, and, you know, I know it's kind of like a, a weird... I don't know. Streamer, audience, relationship kind of thing, but, you know, you guys are my friends. I care about each of you, if nothing else. I don't know if you feel the same way, but, you know... I consider you guys my friends. So it's nice to hear from people you haven't heard from in a while. And even nicer to hear that they're doing well.
we lucked out hard getting into there. Because I didn't hit the invisibility cap that I needed. We just um, had that effect happening. We went in there. I couldn't stay still long enough for him to lock onto me. And that, at that point, all I needed to do was run around him. So that's frustrating. It's me, Mario. That's frustrating. Hello. Like, especially getting that. Because that was a really nice um, pivot wall jump. And... When this game is acting normally, that's a very easy trick to pull off, and it's a very easy way to get a lot of height. If you want to get a lot of height for a jump, just that's 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 a basic, but it works incredibly. But with all of these codes happening, you need to be able to control Mario. Yeah, that's just not happening. Like I mean, it goes without saying, you need, you need to be able to control Mario. So that basic thing that normally would get us many stars is very hard to do. And, uh, so when we actually pull it off successfully, ooh, Mario looking minty. When we pull it off successfully, it's kind of disappointment when it just stops. Okay, so we're interacting with the door directly above us. We're not moving, you can't open the door. So if we punch our way from out from underneath them, it worked, but yeah, we just immediately died anyway. And we can't run and we can't jump. Our options are limited. Can we jump? Run rather? Alright, well, if we can run. So you gotta do one or the other. If you can't run and you can't jump, you're kind of screwed. Mara's going through some stuff. He keeps dyeing his hair. Ooh! Streak speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog. Problem with this is the books will die. I can't, but I don't kill them, so I don't get the money for it. The um, track slaps. So that's nice. The issue with this bit is, like I said, this is the easiest 100 point star in the game to get. But um, how long it takes, you're very likely to just have something in here kill you immediately. That's unfortunate. The Z button, and I can't. He just keeps. Ah. Oh my god! Still no Z button. No Z button, and we can't move the camera. Right. right. The, the camera heard I was upset about it not moving. 
and now it's just moving extra. Why is the eyeball not dying? I can't see anything, so I couldn't tell you. God, this is frustrating. Wow, that's frustrating. Thank you. Who's taking a break? Just going in too big of circles, but he wasn't spinning fast enough. Got no way to know. Did, did we just. Picking up some of this money, or the game's gonna crash. Just a moment. But long enough. So we went directly from 99 coins to 101 coins. And the star will only activate once you hit that 100 exactly. We passed it. Chaos in a while, I just, you know, this is about right. Oh. 
Lovely. It's like it missed me and it's trying to make up for lost time. It's me, Mario. Hello. stays locked behind him. So, it makes it hard to see where you're moving, too. It makes it impossible to pull off one exact maneuver. The one I'm trying to do. painting if I wanted to. And I do want to. Fine. The visibility cap will off. Even if I do get through that door, there's nothing I could do in that room now.
since I have all of these saved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and clip out all, every time I've tried to go into a door and it reverses me and just spits me back out and just connect all of them. It's just going to be a montage of every time I've tried to go into a door and it just reverses me. Because I'm deadly curious to see how much time I've spent trying to go into doors. So that's going to be fun. Looking forward to that. actually count how many times I've said, boy, you said it, Mario. Because, spoiler alert, a lot. It's me, Mario. Boy, you said it, Mario. I was gonna say Kaze should make a Chaos Sonic game, but then I remember there aren't any 3D Sonic games. So that would work. Defoe, good morning. I, I, I'm broken inside, and I appreciate you stopping by. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. This game has done terrible things to me today, and uh, you know, might not recover, but at the same time, I mean, not much we can do about it, so no, no, no sense complaining. Hmm. El Harbor, good morning. What? Hold on. Turn my light on, it's getting dark in here. I've got no idea. I was doing a, a spiffy midday stream for a few hours. I was probably going to go for another hour and some change. Hour 15, somewhere around there. Really just a bump. Um, let's see. Oh, it's nice to hear from you. El Harbor. Let me tell you, I, I usually, you know, it usually takes people, they gotta spend points for me to give people compliments. This one's free. A free B. Um, whoop. Well, we're... Mario, you alright? Mario, you okay? Okay. Oh, my God. Um, but no, L, L, L's a really rad, good dude. One of the goodest dudes I know. I know. I know a few of them on here. It is always fantastic when he stops by. Exactly. Colon 33 to you too, sir. I mean, I, I wouldn't go around throwing the, the G word, but... I am bees. You are, you are correct about that. Okay, Mario, you feeling alright? You're looking a little... Cooperate with me here a little bit. We're a team. Teamwork. Okay. But no, Defoe, I'm glad you're I'm glad you are doing okay. It is a doing okay kind of day, so hopefully you all are. I am going to a rare occurrence today I rarely ever get to because I don't own a car. And I live just miles and miles away from civilization. But I'm gonna get some takeout today, which is exciting. Thinking about what I'm gonna order. Really. <laughs> Update my punch button got exchanged for the catch on fire button. That Bowser's tricky, I tell you. He's. 
for the old switcheroo. Ouch. I mean, very different options. It's, it's weird to me, but once I take out him, I'm still limited to what's within like a 20 minute radius of me, so like, Chinese food or pizza? They're very different options. Those are, you, know, you can have two entirely different kinds of days with those. Door? Okay. Guys, the door, the, 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 the blocks. Oh god. They're all coming to say hello. Oh. We good? You alright? scariest this level's ever been. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see a way out of this. I lied. Okay, okay, I appreciate you for stopping by, Al. Great hearing from you. I, I was just saying it's great hearing from people sometimes. I care about you guys. You're always having a not great day, and you guys are just making me feel all kinds of better. Wonderful people. Miles says so too. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. I'm sure it will, you know. Some days are just, you know, more difficult than others. I appreciate it, though. I sincerely, truly. Mario, you're just... You're fighting me on this. Well, if, he, if Mario wants to be outside, I mean, he should be allowed to stay outside. Earthquake? Do a lap around the house, can we get inside now? Here to reverse my buttons. stream in a nutshell. Repeatedly trying to go through doors. That is that's just essentially all that's happening here. Ah. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, whoop. It's rapidly switching my A and B button. <laughs> you know, that's my fault because I forgot the stairs were made out of explosions. My bad. I, I, I know. Thanks for reminding me, but I, I like... He, he's, he's reminding me that the stairs are made out of explosions, but he's too late. Hi. Come here. Hey, sweetheart, come here. I know. You want attention? I know. You get that from me. Hey. Hey. I love him. He makes me feel better. As much as he, like, loves to yell at me and cause me stress and break things and scratch on doors and, and yell some more and knock things over and then keep yelling, I love him dearly. Like, he makes me want to pull my hair out, I would take a bullet for him. Yeah. 
behaving so well. Okay. I can't get upstairs like this, though, which is the problem. Like, as far as I know, there's no actual way I can get upstairs while this code is happening. Because to get up there, you either need the pivot wall jump, like I said, or some sort of um, double jump wall jump. Maybe if you pull off a really sick triple jump somehow. Off boost. Guys, we made it upstairs. You said it, Mario. Hello. My, my good friend L. Harbert just posted something in Discord. I'm being incredibly rude. I apologize. Let me just one second to check. I'm tired. I don't know what... Oh, pub quiz. Right. Okay. Invited me to a thing out of the kindness of his heart. I appreciate that. He really is a good guy. Um, yeah. Without getting into people's personal business. Um, him as well. You guys know I'm always sad about stuff. He, you know, he goes through stuff too. Nothing wrong with I mean, most people do. I'm not, like, divulging anything terrible, but, you know, the, the kindest people you'll meet are the ones who go through that kind of stuff. And he's a good guy, and it hurts me inside, so, you know, you want, you want the people you care about to do well. to the thing. How crazy is that? It's, it's something. I've said this before. You can, like, don't get me wrong, I'm still sad. I'm always sad. But just because you're sad doesn't mean you can't um, also be happy. It's a weird thing to say, but just because you are, like, you can be sad and be happy about stuff, it's just, uh, being sad makes it more difficult. Same way you can be happy and still recognize there are things in your life that you're sad about. Well, like I said, this backwards thing kind of makes it impossible. Thing. I so like what I'm trying to say is thank you guys. You're all just so wonderful. So it, it is a weird feeling knowing that people care enough to 
keep you company and invite you to things. I'm not used to it. But it does make my heart happy. So thank you. lost progress like we got we went it, it we not only didn't go where we needed to it just threw us downstairs all right it looks like the code has stopped which is the good news so let's give it another try no reason not to select this just because dang jumbi Thank you for the resub, you're fantastic. I was just talking about how cool all of you guys are. Keep me company, being rad, just good people. And then you show up. God, every time you gotta call me out like that, Jombie. My god. Hold up. I gotta I gotta bring up Leo on board. I've been resetting my stream more often. Actually, hold on. I can just do it manually. Aha. I mean, you do anything wrong. Why are they not color coordinated anymore? Hold up. How'd that happen? Is it just... Is it just the UWU? Is that it? Hold on. Why? Why? And beads is out of place? Oh, they're all just... Uh, wait, no, hold on. Is that because they're... That's because they're new. Okay, hold on. Right? Yes? I'm dumb. Apologize. No? Hold on. Yeah, no! You, you, you keep me on my toes, Jombie. You, you make sure I stay on my A game, and I appreciate you for that. Is it gonna work? Apologize, let me bring it back up. You know, I, I've been um, trying to restart my computer before every stream, and I just kind of forgot that this is part of the process. If you can't compete, you can't eat. And you know eat rhymes with sweet. And I'm gorgeous over here, boy. We honeybees over here. But you know, Jompy, at the end of the day, we are honeybees over here. So you keep that in mind. You, you, you keep that in mind. Yeah, pocket. My, Miles says hi. I, I told him. What do you want? Like, I, 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 he, he knows. All right. Cats. He's, he's weird. Oh, this is, um... Chaos Mario. It is very painful, but, um... We've recently got all the stars we need to beat the game, because in Mario 64... Oh, this is just Chaos Mario, not hurting. Oh, this is for fun. It is very painful. But, uh, Mario 64 needs 70 stars to beat Bowser. This is, um... Uh, We've, we've since reached that, but I decided, like, you know what? Let's go for all 120 stars. Yeah. Okay, the door's... Yeah. Okay, well, we can't go in the door. That's that's unfortunate. I want to get every star in the game. Okay. <laughs> this is Chaos 3.0, the guy who makes them. Keeps making new ones every last night. I think that's a sign that we should pick a different level. Oh my god. Mamma mia. This is, you know, this is something. Wait, hold on. Yeah, occasionally, um, one-up mushrooms will spawn that instantly kill you. Okay, he's doing this, like, it's hard to tell because you can't see him. There's a code, um, that makes it so he will trip if you try walking. And that's why he keeps stopping like he is. Hard to tell because you can't see him, but we've been doing this for so long, I, you know, that's, that's just to get used to these things. 
It is anarchy and chaos. It is. Oh God. Mario, would you stop? Stop it. I'm not doing that. He's turning now. Oh, the door came to see me. <laughs> All right. We we're in. I'm a Alright, we back at it. Let's, you know, no time like the present. Still tripping. Hey, alright. Oh, cool, now you can see it. So that's what it looks like. He's just tripping. Is he done? This looks much spookier than usual. This is, um, so what happens is Mario will shed off bunches of Goombas, but the Goombas will have the uh, model of Mario, like, deformed. It's really... Mm. Right. If I'm gonna keep doing this, I really do need an input to this display because, like... Like, if you could see the buttons I'm pushing in relation to what Mario is actually doing, you would vomit all over yourself. It is disgusting. But, you know, we're having a lot of fun doing this. This is the first stream since I decided we were going to go for all 120 stars. And, you know... I regret it. But, you know... Not enough to stop. I mean, we're, I mean, honestly, like, like, looking at this, like, like, you see what's going on. The fact that we got 75 stars already, my god, it is. I'm proud of us. Alright, this is, yeah, this has been, ooh, a wild ride. But how are you today, sir? Hope you're doing well. I don't know if I asked. I better have. Yeah, it was something. Beating Bowser 1 and Bowser 2, like my god. Hot, I mean a hot shower, but I say like, soak in a hot bath, like, as I get older, my muscles get tightened, like, you know, your body starts betraying you. Hot water bottle helps me with back pain tremendously, but short of that, it's a hot bath. It's just not ideal to, um take a bath every time your back hurts, right, you know? Or even, um, like, if you get one of those, like, um, plastic water bottles, like the refillable ones, get one that's, like, not insulated and fill it with hot water so you can feel it when you hold on to it, because a lot of those are, like, thermoses you won't feel. It doesn't work. If you get, like, a, just a regular plastic bottle and fill it with hot water and, like, hold that on where the muscles hurt, that hurt helps, too. This helps um, relax the muscles. Helps me anyway. Going upstairs. I, I I don't know. We are getting butchered in Big Boo's haunt. Okay, well, the thing is though, there's like nothing good here that we like. There's like all of the stars that are left are difficult ones. So, what I'm thinking is, I mean, if we're going to be doing this, let's, um, I'm going to go for TikTok Clock or Rainbow Ride, hey, Mario. if it'll let us into either of those levels. Hello. I've got to get to the level first, go for that. but those are obviously the two most difficult levels. Ooh. Ooh. Code, you as well. Jambi, I, I believe I, I said thank you for the resub. But you as well, Code. Thank you for resubbing 
You guys are fantastic sticking around like you do. I, I don't personally understand, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate you guys for it. You're all wonderful. Um, you know, it's... You guys are probably tired of me talking about this, but you know, I am sad a lot, and you guys are great company, and I want you to know I appreciate all of the times you guys show up here. You're all rad. Let's go. Alright. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Hey, some spiffy emotes you got there, John B. Uh, hydrate, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, one second, I'm on, I'm on a roll here. I'm gonna die soon now. Hydrate. Whoop! Increased gravity, right? Ouch. Increased gravity, if I jump, I get hurt. That's, you know, probably not ideal. Thank you for the hydrate. Also, if you guys, uh, you know how you can customize the badges next to your names? You guys should have higher ranking badges. I shifted everything downward a little bit, so you, you, you probably have better badges now. Big has the Daedric badge, which is just extra nice. While I was gone, not streaming, I had fun making new um, bit badges. I believe the only one we have here is eight rats. I didn't think to check. It's not messing up my control. As long as I can control Mario. Is the, did, did the stars just not there? Well, I mean, the next thing I was about to say was as long as I can control Mario, this shouldn't be a problem. I guess that's not necessarily true because if the stars are not there, it doesn't matter how much I control Mario, right? Second verse, same as the first. Uh, all right, calm down. Sorry, I got a little excited. I've said this before, and if you're familiar with Mario 64, you may already know this. But you know, if you go into the clock uh, when the minute hand is at the top of the hour, the level freezes. So you'll see the conveyors and everything is stuck. From a lot of the stars. It's easier to do this one. Some of them. Here we go. Impossible, but now, I said this before going in. These two levels are the most difficult. But almost every single one of their stars are already out in the open when you load the level. We don't need to spawn. So if we get the code where things come towards us, we could actually stand to nab most of these stars, assuming we don't fall into the nebulous void, because the other trait that these levels have is most of them is bottomless pit. So as long as we can not fall and avoid picking up any stars we already have, we could stand to get most of these just by luck. And I gotta say, a lot of the struggle is finding ways to use the chaos to your advantage. And that's the biggest one, probably. Um, either that or the thing where I spawn Mario's off of me. Um, I think every single 100 coin star we have is just due to that. We shed off bunches of Mario's and harvest their money. Hey, bye bye. Hi. Mario, I'm playing Mario. Not Mario. Miles, I'm playing Mario. I love you. Oh my 
get done streaming, I'll have to make sure I brush him. He's a sweetheart, and I love him. I, I know, I love you. Why are you yelling at me? walking back and forth next to my right ankle, rubbing against me, yelling at me, and now that I'm ignoring him, he actually just started ag aggressively grooming himself. If he feels uh, indignant, like I I've slighted him in some way, he will angrily groom himself. If I ignore him, if I yell at him, if he's, you know, I tell him off, he just starts angrily grooming himself. Bella is currently in her cinnamon roll form. Napping on my bed, being all sweet. And Ellie is on the other side of me. That shallow box is now up against my left. It's over in the corner and she's just curled up. Uh, now that I'm talking about her, she's, she's staring at me, but she's curled up in that box. It's, it's funny how It's funny how cats all have different um, like personalities, like you said all the time, I mean, like, they've got wildly different quirks about them. Like Miles, if he feels like you've insulted his, his, his honor, he will angrily groom himself. I say angrily, I, I actually mean that, like, if he's normally grooming himself, you know what that looks like, he gets really into it if he's mad at you. Hi, yeah, I'm talking about you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm your dad. I'm allowed to. Still going backwards. Really. before in this exact same area. This code makes most of this game just unplayable, like not difficult, but just you, you have to wait for this to be done, otherwise there's nothing you can do. And it seems like most of the time it's happening. So that's unfortunate. There's other um, times you can go into the clock. I believe if it's the minute hand is on the six, it makes everything fast. And I believe it is if you do it on the three, I believe it's the three. Everything is randomized. Which seems very fitting. In that it will randomly speed up, slow down, stop. Just very, very weird. Right, we missed something out of time. But the actual pen, the pendulum one requires the clock is moving. So we might actually benefit from going in there. Like this. So let's just not freeze the clock. It'll be harder to get there, but um, we've we've made it to the part where we would need to get this star a few times already. We just the clock was frozen at the time, so we couldn't. But we just need to get back up to that bit. Anything to stop happening. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Looks like it's done. Can't tell what the time is, so let's just do that. Oh, it's still. Okay, it's still doing it. I 
game is uh, fantastic. Like I, w I would love to reset right now, but at the same time, it's a doozy getting all the way up here. So we may as well at least try. Like, worst case scenario, we die. Either way, it's going to throw us back in outside the castle. So we may as least, we may as least, we may at least try. My brain was trying to say may as well and may at least at the same time. That's why that happened. Game over. You said it. It's me, Mario. Pizza does sound good. Like like pizza's always good. Hello. A little fun fact about Beezy you may or may not have known. I'm actually Pizza's biggest fan. That's me. Ever wonder who likes pizza the most? It's me. I'm a tired. The, the issue is I'm choosing between pizza and Chinese and the two are so wildly different. Chase stopping back by. Fantastic company. I'm not sure if it was. Was it the folk who said they liked um, anchovies? Brain is funky right now. Just creepy enough to be endearing. Thank you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean that in a good way. I love, I love the creep. Okay, I, I thought it was, but my my brain is being a little foggy right now, so I apologize. I, I thought it was you. Not a bad way. I was just trying to put a face on. The, why did I say face? Put a name on the uh, opinion. Um. Salty fish that some people put on pizza, and more often people refuse to put on pizza. They come in little tins. People usually just enjoy them. I find people who enjoy anchovies would typically just enjoy them by themselves. Like if you're the kind of person that likes an anchovy, more more often than not, you're just gonna enjoy it by itself. Some people do put their own pizza. I was going to ask you guys about your pizza opinions. Because this is the fast one. Doesn't matter. I was going to ask about your pizza opinions. To Flo, I think you. I mean, I got the anchovy bit. But besides that, big and the rest of you guys. I'd like to know what your pizza opinions are. Let's go. The music's fast, but the clock is frozen. That's very weird. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm the biggest idiot on the planet. This... These things here, where you get the red coins. These lead up directly to where I need to be. I respect your opinion. I've never had corn on a pizza. So I'm not gonna disregard it. I've never tried it. That's interesting, though. I've never heard. It. Wow. Outside of Korea, I've never heard that because that is um, a standard Korean pizza topic. I love hearing cultural differences between um, hive mates, friends of mine from other countries. I gotcha. Apparently, in Sweden, they do. Um, 
banana and curry powder. Which is also interesting. Can't say I would enjoy it. I'm not, I'm not here to lie about things. I don't think I would enjoy it. I would try it. We, we gotta be honest about these things. Takes me directly where I need to be, but the clock is also frozen right there. Right, right. I mean, pepperoni is a little spicy. It's got a little bit of red pepper. It really just depends on the, the person making the pepperoni. Stuff from the store you're not likely to hit. Sure, hey Bowser. You get it sometimes here, but not always. Um, if you go to an actual pizza restaurant, oftentimes on the table they'll offer you Parmesan cheese and red pepper flakes, which is spicy. So that is a thing. People like a little bit of heat on their pizza. I get that. I can respect that. I. I love spicy food, but like, you can love two things and not- why did I come back here? I can love two um, things and not want them together, like, I love ice cream and I love steak, I don't want to put ice cream on my steak, you know? So I love spicy food, I don't think I want my pizza to be spicy. Besides just a little tickle from, um, some really good pepperoni. That's interesting. I... I would actually try a, a scoop of sour cream on a pizza, because hear me out. I'm a huge fan of sour cream. And I know putting, like, ricotta cheese on a pizza, it's just creamy and tasty. And sour cream's got a little bit of a tang. Like, I'm a big fan of that. So I can see that. Yeah, um, like garlic basil butter on a steak is one of the best things you could put on, um, on a steak. Because while I, while I like um, blue cheese, I find that it's so such a strong taste. You don't get as much, like you're eating a steak to eat a steak, you don't want to like drown it out. So I find that blue cheese is actually too strong for my liking on a hot steak. I enjoy it, not together. Okay, see this is the clock being weird, it slows down and speeds up. And this is Mario being weird. Um, but yeah. Like I'll do blue cheese, parmesan. Put that on some fries or potato wedges with some, um, a little bit of garlic. Bake that on. Have a good time. I have something that pizza is not cooked dough and the pizza shape, sour cream cheese. That sounds good. Like, dough is just such a great vessel for stuff. Like, you can slap any combinations of toppings on some baked like I say bread but like you know like specifically like pizza dough the reason pizza dough is so chewy is um, gluten you, you work pizza dough a long time and it builds up gluten that's what makes pizza dough chewier but like you say chewy like it's a bad thing we all love pizza dough and it's a great, like, it, it, it's sturdier, it, it holds up toppings, you can put some great stuff on it. Like, um, get some, get like a pizza dough going, like if you make it yourself or if you even buy it. Um, do that, and then like, do a food that you know you like, and sort of just do that on top of it. So like, Philly cheese, shredded steak, mushroom, onion bunch of cheese, put that on top of some pizza dough, you'll have a great time. Meatball sub, meatball, meatball sub on pizza dough is just a pizza. You know what I mean. 
find a food that you enjoy eating and just slap it on top of a pizza crust. I promise you, you'll have a good time. Well, promise is a strong word. But you're likely going to have a good time. I'm a big fan of spaghetti. I am. Um, I like to cook. You guys know I like to cook. Um, I like to try making new things, but by and large, whenever I'm just like making dinner, I've got like just a, a handful of fallback recipes that I make most of the time. Like the majority of the time, I make the same handful of things. And like. The good thing about that is I've been doing that for years, so I've got them pretty down. And when I make spaghetti, I don't want to like... You guys know me. I'm not the braggy type of person. I hate myself. So, when I say this, you can, you know I mean it. I make stellar spaghetti. And by extension, lasagna, because... All lasagna is, is you've made spaghetti, you've layered it, and baked it. With cheese. So like, I mean that, that's that's probably the best thing I make. Lasagna and then, I mean, I make great chili between you and I. Where was this Bowser luck when I actually needed to fight Bowser? We just almost back to back got both Bowser fights. How long was I in Bowser's level trying to get to him and now it's just like, I do have a lot of point purchases. Well, we're in this level now. What, else, what can we got? Chest in the current's not gonna happen. Okay, so what do we got left? Ooh, dad joke. Bowser's submarine sandwich. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. First, we got dad joke. Appreciate you, sir. Let's, let's get you a dad joke. Was it number five? Yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. What do we got for dad jokes? He's licking my face. Always with permission. Oh no. Okay, so five is my... I'm surprised I put this one on here. Because that's my non-family friendly one, so... Let me just hit you with another good joke. I'm surprised that's on there. I need to fix that. It, I mean, it's a good joke, but it's a little more um, PG-13 than I would like. I try to keep it wholesome here. So let me pick... I'm, I'm going to pick out a good joke that I don't think you've heard before. Okay. Make sure I... Okay, how about... How about yeah, I think you'll like this one. So, my girlfriend keeps complaining about my flamingo impression. She just keeps nagging and nagging, and you know, I finally just had to put my foot down. There we go. 
Thank you. I, you know, it's one I haven't tossed out in a while. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, that's a doozy of a joke. Okay, so we got Bowser's sub. Uh, jet stream, collect the caps. So we've got the current, the eight reds, and the manta ray. Okay, so, oh god, yeah. No matter, all of those are gonna suck. Wow. Beads! Beads! But we're here, so I may as well try. I say, I mean, the closest one is the manta ray is right here. If it's gonna cooperate, this could work. The thing is, on a good day, this one's iffy. Spatially, I have a hard time seeing where Mario is in relation to the things. No. Like, if you go too fast, you go through the ring before it's, it counts. If you go too slow, they just disappear. So, you see this? Exit. Let me exit. It, we, it didn't let us save. Remember, we, you never celebrate until the game lets you save. So, our only option. We've got two lives left. We've got to get a star before we... Run up, we'll get a game over. Otherwise, we lose the star we just snagged from the, from the uh, Manta Ray. Oh my god. I literally just need to get in that door. Peach's slide. I, It's the easiest star. I, I'm gonna cry. So if the doors are moving, we cannot get in there. We'll get displaced into a wall. That's what keeps happening. We, we just gotta hope that... We can live long enough for the door to stop doing this. Because if we die again, we lose the star. Please just... That would hurt a little bit. Alright, but you know, it's not always gonna be cinnamon rolls and, and, and puppy dogs. You know what I mean? <sighs> Same thing, but the first U is supposed to be an O, I believe. My brain's turned off right now. You know what? Fire and ice. We got five stars this stream. That was all part of the journey. If this whole thing was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. We're having fun. The fact that the, sometimes the game does stuff like that to me, that's, you know, it, you know it's fun. I'll be alright. I'm gonna go think about what I want for food, and I appreciate you guys for stopping by. It is... MX, Big, Code and Jompy, um, Defoe, you know, all you guys. You're all wonderful. So thank you for being wonderful. 
Um, hopefully I see you around, if nothing else, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. We're continuing our spooky July short stream, but I'm going to be ranking, I think it's 63 different candies tier list. So, you know, in case you want to do that, I appreciate you guys, and I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I'll see you around.